Alright guys, so I'm forced to make this video because I'm just upset of all the dumb people in the Mopar community getting scammed by dealerships. And I know if you you guys have been seeing this lately, it's, just, it's not just me. Like, I literally walked into the dealership today. I wanted to go make an order for the new 2023 Hellcat. I don't really care if it's the jailbreak, red eye, regular Hellcat. I just wanted a Hellcat for 2023. And specifically, I wanted the plum crazy colorway because, you know, purple is my favorite color. And y'all can't lie, that purple look good, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I went to the dealership. Bro, I walk in that bitch, first things first, I see the super stock, then I see a regular Hellcat. A regular smuggler Hellcat. The regular smuggler Hellcat, they're asking for $80,000, and they got 10,000 miles. So I'm like, okay. And I asked him, what's the year? He said 2020. I'm like, damn, 2020 for 80K? I asked him for the MSRP sticker price, and he tell me, yeah, 78,000. I'm like, damn. So, you mean to tell me someone paid 78000 Y'all are trying to sell this for 40, 80K? And then on top of that, you still got to pay tax title fees. So, really, out the door, you're going to be walking around paying $86,000, $87,000. You know what I'm saying? For regular Hellcat. At 2020 Hellcat at that. And I'm like, fuck, damn, man. Like, shit. Then I go ahead. I, I ask him, shit, how much y'all want for the super stock? Because that super stock is really a 2022 model. He tell me, brand new, no owners. Deliver mileage on. I'm like, damn, that, this shit look good. I look at the sticker price on it. It says 105. I ask him how much y'all want for it. He tell me they want 130, and I'm like, god damn. You know what I'm saying? And this really doesn't make any sense. Well, it kind of does because dealerships are actually trying to scam y'all. Because to be honest, a lot of dealerships bought a lot of cars during the pandemic, thinking that oh yeah, cars are worth high in price, so they paid a lot of money. Don't get it twisted. They paid a lot of money because. They think they're about to make a whole bunch of money. But cars recently actually dropped in value. Like a lot of cars dropped in value. So this dealership, they're actually going to be taxing y'all on fucking new Hellcats. Anything performance, they're going to tax y'all for that markup price. Because that's how they can make their money. Since they lost their money with buying these cars during the pandemic. Fucking paying ridiculous price. Like I remember I saw my scat pack for like 45000 I paid like thirty five, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, think about it. And I had, that, that's after I put, like, hella mileage on it, man. Like, that, it's, it's just crazy to me. So, someone has to bite the bullet at the end of the day. And who's that person going to be? It's going to be us consumers. Clearly, they uh, they asking this crazy markups, and people are willing to pay. Like, I was on this Hellcat group, group chat on Facebook, and I seen a couple people placing orders for the new 2023 jailbreak. And the sticker price that I'm seeing going around is, like, 106000 you know, around there, like, a really fair option out uh, Hellcat jailbreak for 2023 is going to be around 106000 Now, these dealerships are charging anywhere from 10000 to, I even seen 50 k on a King Daytona Hellcat, and I'm just like, what the fuck? So, if a Hellcat is like one ten thousand, you paying like, we're just going to go with like $15,000 over markup, which is actually on the low end. I'm being conservative here, because believe me, when I went into the dealership today, they told me, oh, yeah, to order, you got to have to pay $25,000. And he said that with no, you know, no facial expression. He just said it like it's natural. Like, people really do this. And I'm just looking at my, I'm just looking at him like, bro, you think this is regular? Like, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, so let's say you go ahead and pay that $15,000 markup. Cool. Tax title fees, that's another like $7,000, $8,000, depending on which state you live in. So already that's $128,000 out the door. For a 2023 Hellcat Red Eye jailbreak, same thing, whatever, who cares? So imagine paying that type of money when I literally just seen a Dodge Demon from 2018 sell for $128,000. I literally just seen this happen not too long ago. Actually, it happened like two weeks ago. And the Demon only has like 1,700 miles. You know, that's baby miles. Because I'm pretty sure if you get a 2023 jailbreak or whatever the case is, you're going to be driving it, you know. Ain't no way I'm getting a fucking brand new car paying all that money and I'm not driving it. And that's why I was saying, like, don't buy these cars to collect the item. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you could, if you got a 2016 Hellcat, 2015 Hellcat, you pay $40,000, $45,000, 50K. You know what I'm saying? You're good, man. Do not even try to upgrade because you really are getting the same car. You know, it might be a little bit faster, but it's not going to be easy to tell. Maybe you might be able to tell at the racetrack, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But we all know most people are not buying these cars 
to go to the drag strip and try to race them like come on man we buying these cars to enjoy on the street so i just wanted to let y'all know like please do not pay this crazy ass prices these dealerships are tripping man like i just can't believe this shit. and dodge is letting this shit happen you know what i'm saying so just be careful out there man do not pay over msrp none of that just go get you a 2015 hellcat shit hell get you a 2018 hellcat because i was actually shopping for the older hellcats i even found a red eye five thousand miles that red eye sold for like i believe it sold for like seventy thousand sixty eight thousand around there so sixty eight thousand compared to one hundred twenty eight thousand. You know, you basically paying double for the same exact car. It's just the newer one is, is newer. Like, that's the only difference. Other than that, same performance, same engine, same everything, bro. So, I just don't understand these dealerships. I just want y'all to be careful, man. Do not get scammed by these dealerships. Be patient. These cars will drop in value because you guys know we are kind of in a recession. So, I mean, if you got the money, go ahead and do it. Uh, it's not an investment piece. It's just something that you, you know, just to drive around and stuff. But, yeah uh i'm gonna be making another video man i'm gonna be really going into detail so y'all make sure i can stay tuned for that with that being said like and subscribe